guys, it's a little phone box cast, and we're back with some more Minecraft. So today I'm showing you something pretty cool. Today I'm showing you spy gear, and as you probably have noticed in my heart bar, I have nothing. But when we go into my inventory, we have four different items. So let's start off with the two helmets. So of course, as a spy, you need to be able to breathe underwater and see in the dark. So if we to go to time set night, oops, night, or actually let's just go to 1800 because it's not dark enough. If we go to that and we put on our helmet, we get night vision forever. So we can see everywhere and stuff like that. And yeah, so that is the night vision helmet. And for the leather helmet, we have the water breather. This is, we actually need to go into time set 1000. So let's just head into the water over here. So of course you need to travel underwater. So you would have your water breather with you. So you could see underwater or you could breathe underwater forever. I didn't make it so you could see underwater because that would defeat the purpose of the night vision helmet. So yeah, this I, I like this because very useful in a survival situation. So that is the water breather. Oh, did not mean to put it there. Next, we have the TNT plate and the ignite. Actually, I'm going to go into game mode uh, C real quick and get a stack of these. So let's just go that. And so whenever we wear this, of course, it's a diamond chest plate and we explode it, boom. This is a one-time use thing, sadly, because I can't find a way to test for if you're wearing it when um, it has durability, so that kind of stinks, but I'm just going to give me a couple of these. Give at a diamond underscore chest plate. Uh, one, two, sorry, I didn't want to have to do this, but um, TNT plate. All right. So, if we just do this a couple times. All right, so now that we have three, we can get rid of this. So basically, when you wear it and you use Ignite, it will explode wherever you are with an expl a cr explosive creeper, or a very good creeper. So this is like a one-time use thing, which is actually very helpful. Like, let's say you just wanna have like a regular uh, diamond chest plate, but you want to have like at least one use out of this. It's very good. And also, if you use ignite by itself, it won't do anything but spawn in a dead silverfish. So that is the TNT chest plate, and we can actually get rid of these. So let's just get out of here. So finally, we have the camera. So I know this must happen to you guys a lot. Let me just effect that A with saturation uh, 5, five. Good. So this guy, this must happen to you guys a lot. You have a very, or especially on servers, you have a very cool place. Like, see, I have my beacon. I have my. I killed the Ender Dragon apparently eight times. I have my diamonds. I have everything that I want. My rainbow beacon. So. And then some guy just comes in and raids it all. So what you have is you, in this, you would have your camera. And you would throw it down, and it wouldn't do very much. But let's say you get suspicious about your little base, and so you would hold your view camera, and you can look around, and nobody's there. Then you could uh, let go of it, and you get teleported right where you, are, where, where you were. And you have some uh, pork chops. So... To show this, I'm going to stand right next to the anvil. I'm going to hold it. And so we're going to look around, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to go back, and we're still right next to the anvil. So this, I love this. It's so, it's if you guys add this, or if you guys like should build this in your world, it's going to be very, very helpful. So yeah, let's go into game mode uh, C. And. Bam, let's, let me actually grab the spawn egg back because, and like uh, the reason why I had this diamond sword is because I just want to kill it. If you want to get rid of it, just kill it and you can get rid of it, bam. So let's just give, uh, no, never mind, let's just grab it. Um, villager, and of course you can add like a custom uh, crafting recipe for the spawn eggs. 
uh, the looking glass, the sword to get rid of it. Maybe you can have it for a one-time use. I'm actually going to show you something. It's It could be useful, so we just want to change this to camera. So, uh, if you guys are, are planning it and you don't want a super OP sword that people can use all the time, you want to do this give at a diamond underscore sword one. Then, if you want, let's say this much durability left on it. Oh, that's a I spelled that wrong. Um, bam. It, it will get rid of that much durability. So, let's say we want to get rid of 2,000 of its durability. It will give you a diamond sword with negative 439 durability. So, it's basically a one shot use thing. So uh, uh, that's just a little cool thing that you could, like, if you guys want to know that. All right, let's turn off the clock. Or let's just actually break this. And this. All right. No. Bam. Let's go over the redstone. So I'm actually going to, let me fly, let me fly. Never mind. All right, so for the uh, night vision helmet, it is every single time you wear an iron helmet on your top, uh, on your head slot it will uh, add three to the scoreboard that I added a uh, scoreboard uh, uh, objectives list um, we have pie which I added which is a dummy type so then uh, if this succeeds it'll affect, affect you with night vision 5 uh, true and the commands will be in the chat and then if you stop wearing it it will get rid of your night vision effect so uh, at the end of the video I will uh, uh, just show you all the commands so when you see the green text everything from there on down is going to be useful so these three commands are for the night vision helmet so next we have over here is the TNT chest plate. So it's testing for same command but with a diamond chest plate. Uh, and again, it will add three to your score. And it will also test for the silverfish named Ignite. And um, if only this succeeds, it will kill the silverfish. So that gives us like one tick. So you have to be wearing this. And what it do, it will summon uh, uh, where you are at a fuse three ignited one and powered one creeper so basically with the fuses that's how long it takes before it explodes this means um that it's ignited and this means it is charged a charged creeper so that's very useful and also affect you with resistance because you don't want to die from the creeper and yeah so there is from right here right here this one right here down that is for the uh, uh, TNT plate and over here we have the water breather so again same command as the iron helmet one but with the leather helmet and uh, it will affect you with water breathing uh, 10,000 for 10,000 seconds so infinity and water breathing water breathing five and um, if you guys wondering why it's one more than this, it's just a little glitch or whatever. So, uh, yeah. And uh, this means if you want the particles off or on. So, yeah. And then it's just getting rid of it. You know, you guys know this stuff. And over here, finally, for the camera, it's testing for if you're holding glass uh, named view camera. And it will summon a pig at where you are at. And uh, it will teleport you to the camera. And if you let go of it, it will teleport uh, at A to you, and it will kill you. So, not you, you, but um, the pig's name is you, if you guys are wondering. And it's um, affecting you, the pig, with slowness forever. And over here, it's just affecting camera with invisibility and slowness. So, let's just go over all the commands. All right. So, from here to here is night vision goggles goggles sorry about that and from uh, here to uh, here is the explosive TNT plate and from here to here is water breather and from here to the end is the camera so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it leave a like comment down below if you like these commands and yeah 
and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out. See you guys.